The independent man on top of the Rhode Island State House will soon come down for the first time in decades. As we told you last week, the state is removing the statue to repair a crack in its marble base. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish joins us with the story of the last time the statue came down, as told by someone who was there. Since 1900, the independent man has only been moved once to be repaired, and that was in 1975. One of the people on the team that took the statue down was our 12 News military analyst, Lieutenant General Reggie Centracchio. It was quite a, a, uh, an ordeal to be able to plan it and actually do it. The last time the independent man touched the ground in Rhode Island was almost 50 years ago. Lieutenant General Reggie Centracchio tells 12 News he helped free the statue, taking off bolts that held it in place from inside the dome at the top of the state house. I was kind of slim at the time, and getting up there was somewhat of a, a, a challenge. So we got, did get up there, took it off, and uh, gave the signal for the chopper to Lift it. A National Guard helicopter hoisted it from the building and lowered it to the ground where it was refurbished. General Centracchio says it then spent some time at the Warwick Mall. That didn't go over too well because there was a lot of other businesses that wanted it too. And so we decided to take it out of there. But before we did that, uh, a replica was made of it. That exact replica can still be found at the mall today, giving residents and visitors a better idea of the size and shape of the original statue that will soon come down again. It's being removed so crews can repair a large crack in the marble base. The independent man has weathered decades of storms and blizzards and hurricanes, and now he will be restored to pristine condition to be enjoyed for generations to come. General Centracchio says he thinks the governor made the right call, though he says it'll be a challenge to fix the crack. The worst possible uh, scenario would be to have to take the whole dome off and put another one up there. I, I hope that isn't the case, but nevertheless, uh, whatever they do, they have to ensure that it uh, has good integrity. The governor's team has not yet laid out an exact timeline for when the independent man will be taken down, though once it's removed, it's expected to stay on the ground for about a year. In studio, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.